my name is Benedict Nwani, and I'm the Director of uh, Applications and Analytics for Exfa. And as part of our overall theme of 5G done right, I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, real-time topology and the importance of real-time topology for automated operations. So uh, today I'm going to uh, walk through a really quick some, some background material, but also a demo of some of the uh, um, real-time topology use cases around service insurance that we've been doing for a Tier 1 telco in Northern Europe. Actually, it's Telenor, uh, which we were able to release uh, later this week. There's an important insight with respect to topology. Uh, we used to think of it just as you know, network maps, but now that networks are connected from end to end and they support lots of different users and lots of different services, um, knowing the network and the real-time topology itself has become a key to automation. Uh, and, and we'll go into that in a little bit more detail. But, but in dynamic environments, if you don't know how the network is connected, then you're not going to know how to fix customers, how to assure services, and how to troubleshoot. And beyond that, real-time topology is also proving essential for accurate provisioning um, and the correlation across network sources. So um, let's go in and take a look at why that's the case. The, the challenge is, is one that people in networking know really well. Um, you want to build a network model that joins up all of the different silos, all the different layers of technology and how they connect to customers, but it's really hard. It's really hard and you want a nice straightforward link up of the network, but, but what you always get is a broken, fractured, siloed view. The reason for that is pretty simple. The data in the systems that you're pulling uh, to get network information just change too fast. Um, and also, those systems themselves were never meant to be linked up. So you've got to find a way to bring that data together. And the fact that now our networks are changing in real time with a software-defined networking and network function virtualization just takes this challenge and takes it to the next level, making it even harder to achieve. Now, there's a, a really wonderful insight around topology. If you can get a joined up view, a joined up network cross-link data source across all of your infrastructure, then it's a wonderful resource because it is the full match key that can bind all of the data, the CRM data, billing data, fault data, performance data, and the network configuration data itself into a single searchable, understandable resource. In fact, if you've got a topology that defines how customers are using your service, and you get a weather event, then you'll know who's affected by that weather event and how it's affecting your services. If you have planned maintenance and works, you can predict who's going to be impacted, and you will know when planned maintenance works are safe or not safe. If you get fiber cuts, or you get faults, or you get problems with the infrastructure, and you're doing planned maintenance work at the same time, you'll know whether those, those works are still safe. You'll know who's affected by fiber cuts. You'll know what services are going down. you know the revenue impact of a fiber cut. If you have trouble tickets open in the network and customers are raising complaints, you'll be able to see with full visibility if that correlates to problems that you have in the infrastructure, services that you're rolling out, or work that you have planned. And finally, when you're doing emergency works and you need to know very quickly who's going to be affected, how am I going to get the network up and running as quickly as possible, a real-time topology is, is your number one tool for understanding uh, what are the impacts uh, um, and how will I fix what's going wrong in the infrastructure today? So the, the use of a topology as a, as a matching mechanism, as, as, a, as a key across all your data, is, is wonderful. And the results that we're seeing are, are a really great reduction in fallout, so increasing the success rate of, of provisioning from about 60% to 90%, and also automated assurance, automated assurance means uh, that the lead time for, for uh, mean trouble tr uh, time to repair uh, drops from weeks to minutes. And the, wh what Expo is bringing to the table is, is technology that means that creating an end-to-end -end topology is no longer the challenge that it used to be. And the reason for this is the, the adoption of new technologies that allows us to bring together data from any source, read them into um, a, a new storage technology called a graph store, use semantic modeling to interpret that data as either topology or interpret it as configuration and, and uh, errors and problems in the infrastructure and do all of that um, analysis and rendering in real time. So a, a bit of a, a bit of a 
uh, a background check there, but, but now let's talk about a case study that we're, that we're deploying right now. At Expo, we've been very fortunate to be able to work with Telenor in proving out the application of a real-time topology to automating the uh, uh, common cause identification in outages. So this is automating assurance for telcos and it's solving some really big problems. The sort of challenges that Telenor and others are, are encountering is, you know, uh, they're having large scale outages and the, diagno the diagnosis of what's gone wrong in that outage can take days, but it can also take weeks. And that can be extremely painful for the, for the uh, operator. In diagnosing the problem, it's always using the same people, a team of overworked SMEs who have to get together in a war room to solve the problem. And this means because you know it's humans solving the problem that you're just going to have slow response times, and those slow response times uh, translate to high operational cost. Now, fundamentally, the thing you can do is you can know when people that are using your services are experiencing a degradation, and if that's all you know, then you're you're just going to be doing manual uh, 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 resolution. But if you take that data and you apply it to real-time topology, then something really wonderful can happen. So this is automated common cause analysis. And here, what you're seeing is a view from our Nova uh, analytics application. We are monitoring performance and real-time data across a plethora of networks, across some, some um, uh, uh, enterprise and, and broadband networks, across mobile backhaul, uh, this will extend, of course, to 5G networks and, 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 and 4G. Um, here you can see that, that um, for any of the, of the networks that we're monitoring, we know the real-time topology and, and are able to track and understand the configuration of the entire network across, across all, all sources. Um, uh, you can also see that, that we are creating a symptom set. We are noticing that there are uh, uh, performance issues popping up periodically across a large set of endpoints within, within the infrastructure. And if, I, if we take a look at those, you can see them pop up. These are affecting customer service. The system will gather all of the uh, problems that are occurring for customers across multiple service uh, hierarchies, across multiple networks, and build them into symptom sets of what's going wrong right now. And with one of these symptom sets, we can send it to the topological analysis for common cause analysis. And this can happen in real time, fully automatically, without human intervention. Let's take a look at what the result is of this particular outage. So now we've created the symptom set. It's been sent automatically into the topology engine, the ontology engine that Expo has. We have compared and tracked back from where the symptoms are being experienced across the entire correlated network and the system has come up and has, has, has indicated that with, with, for, for this particular problem within this cluster, there is a particular node, this Carlotta C9, which we believe is the root cause causing the failure. And we can see that right here. If you take a look at all of the possible parts of the network, logical, physical, and virtual, that could be connecting to the, to the customers that are, that, that are experiencing a problem. There are three nodes that, that, that could impact all of them. There's only one of those uh, uh, nodes here uh, that, that, that also has active alerts, as well as, as, as performance management degradations without having a change ticket already loaded for it. So, the common cause analysis algorithm has come forward and said, this node right here has 100% reachability in terms of topology. So topology is saying it's the root cause. It has active alerts against it. That also indicates that it's the, that it's the likely root cause. And there are degradations occurring on the interfaces that affect those customers. This is the node that you need to go and fix. This is your root cause. And that's automated common cause in action.